this is obviously not your first movie, uh, first book that's been adapted into a movie. We've had War Horse, obviously. Um, so is it still uh, such a thrill to see your books come to life on the big screen? Um, is a thrill the right word? Yes, it's a, it's a deep pleasure when it's good. When it's not so good, it's no pleasure at all. Because you're all the time thinking, oh, I wish they hadn't done that, I wish they hadn't... The good thing about this film is it's really meant. You know, every word is meant. The people who made it, uh, believed in it, worked so hard, and they're young. Everyone who worked in this film, the, Ben, the director, he looks about 12. I know he's in his 30s, but he looks 12. And the guy who wrote it, when he first thought of it, he was in his teens. You know, and it's wonderful. These young people put their heart and soul into a story which is actually as old as the hills, but critically important to us today. This is about migrants, finally. We, you know, it, yes, it's about the Holocaust, but this is about a group of children who had nothing left in this world. And this woman saved their lives. And this went on all over occupied Europe. In some places, entire countries got together. In Denmark, they got together as a people and sent their Jews out to Sweden in order to save their lives under German occupation. I mean, extraordinary. We don't know the good stories, you know. We know the beastly ones, and there were beastly ones, many more beastly ones, sadly. But it was an important story to tell. I wanted to tell it. I love the place. Leska knew the village. It was they who told me the story. Their life I went to explore. Sheep farmers who, you know, worked up in the hills and in the mountains. And what was really interesting, have you seen the film yet? Well, you can see how beautiful it is. Well, that something to so terrible could take place in such a landscape seemed to me to one of the most important things about the film. This does not happen just in ghastly places in camps. This is where some of those people who went into the camps came from. Yeah, and, and it just that seems to me to be very important. So those mountains are really, um, they're like walls that you can't escape through. They hold people in, and yet these ones were, they were trying to get them out. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the film. Yeah. I did, thank you, I did. Um, but also, you know, your stories are set the first, uh, War Horses, World War One. this is World War Two. I mean, what's your inspiration for writing these stories? Well, as far as you can do this in fiction, I like to tell truth. All my stories are based on some kind of truth I have discovered. And sometimes it's about war, sometimes it's about social circumstances here. But it's truth. It's the truth in the landscape and in the people that... I don't invent much. I'm not that imaginative. I tend to try to let my memory feed me. A lot of it's about what I feel that is... Well, I never begin a book without being persuaded that I really got to write it because it's important to write about. And I think, because when you're writing a book, what you're doing is talking to a reader. That's all it is. I'm telling these people who are going to read it what I think about the world. And it's a communication. And that way, and I think if you're a writer, you have to look the kid in the eye and tell the story as you see it. They don't have to like it, they don't have to love it, but I'd love it to mean something to them. So when they close the page at the end, they're thinking. That's what books are for, and films. Thank you very much for your time. Lovely to meet you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!